Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a video on the best perfumes for Valentine's Day. It is that time of the year again. So I'm gonna be letting you know what my 2022 top picks are for Valentine's Day date night, whether it's for a gift for Valentine's or you're looking for something to wear on your Valentine's date. I guess you could also say that these are my top 2022 like sexy perfumes as well. If you're new here, then hello, welcome. We're all about perfumes. I have hundreds of videos just like this, perfume lists like this, like elegant perfumes, floral perfumes, as well as reviews of all the latest releases and different ranges explaining the difference between them. So do check out my other videos and if you are a regular viewer then make sure you're subscribed with notifications turned on and sign up to my newsletter down below in the description box so you don't miss any updates. You can also get my merch down below and um, I have hundreds of different merch products shipping worldwide and in the description box I will leave the link to where you can buy all these perfumes I talk about in UK, Europe, North America, Australia um, if they're available there. Cool, so let's get into the perfume. So I think I'm gonna start off with new releases. So my first pick is the new Lancome Idol Aura. This came out, I think just before Christmas. And when it came out, I it, like one of the first things I thought was this is a great Valentine's perfume. I'll definitely have this in my Valentine's video. The Lancome Idol range, the original is a really pretty rose and pear. There's then an intense version which has some woody notes. But this third one, Aura, is quite different and it's actually a salty vanilla scent. Mm. And it's that vanilla which for me definitely makes it like a sexy Valentine's date night perfume. All three of them are amazing for lasting. Lancome in general tend to make really good for lasting perfumes. They're one of my favorite houses, really recommend them. And you can really like rely on them. I know that the Idol range got some criticism because it's like the world's thinnest bottle and it didn't stand up, but they've now changed the base so that it does now stand up. And alongside that salty vanilla, you've got some jasmine as well, which is another note, which is great for lasting and projection. So I think if you like the sound of a sort of salty vanilla, the Paco Rabanne Olympia perfumes are a salty vanilla as well. It just takes away some of the sickly sweetness and makes it like a warmer vanilla by adding that salt note. It's quite clever and it makes it quite modern as well and um, yeah definitely recommend this and really reliable the 30 mil size is really small and because it's so thin it's really convenient you could definitely put it in your handbag or something because they're so thin they are really good for like storage and traveling another new release is the valentino Volsha Viva Intensa. You might know this as the one which Lady Gaga advertises. There was an original Volsha Viva, which was a really pretty sort of orange blossom, white floral fragrance. This Intensa version, um, which came out a few months ago, has that jasmine orange blossom heart, the same as the original, but then it has a bourbon vanilla added. A little bit of mossy note. Um, but bourbon vanilla is probably almost more bourbon than it is vanilla. It adds a slightly boozy, um, definitely like warm, sensual feeling to the perfume, which is why I thought it'd be perfect for Valentine's. I love this. I think it's been, this has been great for like the daytime during the autumn and winter months because it's feminine and pretty, but it still has that warmth from that bourbon vanilla, which is making it a little bit more, you know, sophisticated and mysterious and a little bit more like, yeah, I think it is a sexy fragrance. It's definitely better than the original version in my opinion because of that extra note added in. It's also an intense perfume, so it's stronger. Yeah, Eau de Parfum Intense. So it's more concentrated. There's more perfume oil in here than in the original as well. So it just sort of fills you with this feminine but slightly different, mysterious vibe to it. I think you could wear this during the day. It doesn't have to be evening, date, night, but it would be, you know, it's just adding that little extra mystery to the daytime. So a few classics, which would be great, like go-to fragrances for Valentine's. The Black Opium from Yves Saint Laurent is a really big bestseller. And this is a 
millennial going out type perfume. You've got some um, chocolatey notes mixed with loads of like white florals. It's really, really strong. It's good for lasting. It's a little bit licorice-y. And you might have seen the video I did with my boyfriend, Steve, where we went through and um, blind tested bestsellers. And this came out as his favorite in the blind trial. And I do think that men do like this and find it a quite sexy, good perfume. So ideal for wearing on Valentine's Day, but I think also ideal for like perhaps a gift for Valentine's Day because everyone will have heard of it. Everyone knows it, it's super popular. Yeah, and it's quite a cool like sparkly bottle. Another one that's kind of along the same lines um, that I have here in a sample is Carolina Herrera, Good Girl. This one comes in the iconic shoe-shaped bottle, high heel shape, um, so it really stands out. And again, it's that sort of sexy, warm, floral, going out vibe along the black opium sort of type of fragrance. And again, I think this would be a really good purchase as a gift for Valentine's because it's really well known and yeah, it's just cool. It's a very cool fragrance moment. Another classic, which um, has actually been out for nearly 30 years now, is Moogler's Angel. Of course, Thierry Moogler just passed away recently, and I think that has sparked um, a lot of curiosity around some of his older fragrances. The Angel scent is just a classic, amazingly strong, amazingly good for lasting, sexy praline patchouli perfume. It really is strong, it's really good for lasting. And I think again, if you're looking for a gift for someone because of all the attention around the Moogla brand at the moment, people will probably be curious about this. So it could be a good time to buy. It also has the coolest bottle ever. I love the Angel Star bottle, it's so unique. But this is definitely one like not for the faint hearted it's really really strong out of all of these it's going to be the strongest one so you have to be okay with having a really strong smell all day but it's good value for money because obviously you get loads of lasting power out of it and I think you can also get these refilled at some counters so you don't have to repurchase the star you can just get it refilled so it saves some money better for the environment in terms of what I would be wearing on Valentine's Day, so my go-to perfume for any sort of like evening type event is Lancome's Trezor Midnight Rose, one of my all-time favorite fragrances. I love berries, I love cassis blackcurrant, and this is the best blackcurrant perfume ever. It's really um, amazing for lasting, like a blackcurrant syrup or a blackcurrant liqueur. Really, really oh, addictive. It's also got some raspberry vibes in it here as well. And because it's been out for a while, you can often get this reduced. And um, I love it, I'm addicted to it, but I know that it's one of those perfumes that not everyone loves. So you need to know that you like cassis and black currants like this. Some people find it a bit overpowering. My recommendation if you want something not quite as intense and syrupy would be the new Armani C Intense that came out in 2021. This is also a cassis fragrance. So it has all that black currant, but it's not as like syrupy and it's got other notes. It's got a sort of patchouli undertone to it. And I love this, as you can see, it's nearly run out. So I would wear either of these to a sort of date night occasion because that's my personal taste. But I think um, this one probably isn't a safe blind buy or a safe gift, they might not like it. This one is probably safer, it's a little bit more mainstream and the C fragrances are highly advertised, really popular. Most people will have heard of them, I think. Another sort of niche hidden gem option is from Guerlain. It's a La Petite Robe Noir, which means little black dress. You don't really see these advertised much. It's all about their Mon Guerlain with Angelina Jolie. But I think these are the best perfumes from Guerlain. They are a sour cherry scent with a lot of almond in. It's a really strong eau de parfum amazing for lasting and for some reason you can usually get them like half price 
So you're getting a really strong, really good quality perfume. Galan perfumes are really good quality for sometimes like 30, 40 pounds. Really good value for money. They're such a hidden gem in my opinion. This is the 50 ml. It's also a beautiful bottle, right? really pretty on your dressing table. So if you like cherry, um, this is a really strong sour cherry and also quite almondy and warm. The new Lancome Le Nuit Tresor Intense is also a cherry scent, but it's not quite as heavy and intense as this. So this is like a much stronger version of the new Le Nuit Tresor Intense, I think, which would definitely be appropriate for val Valentine's as well and that one would probably be a safer gift. I believe it's only being released in Europe, um, the new La Nuit Tresor Intense, whereas this one you can get worldwide. And then my final pick um, is an affordable option, Ariana Grande's Cloud. This is one of the best-selling perfumes at the moment, certainly the most best-selling celebrity perfume. And even though the packaging looks a bit sort of childish, the scent I think is very mature. It's a coconut and ombre musk, like mellow musk really strong, really good for lasting, and it is a bit of a dupe of Maison Francis Coq de Jeanne's Baccarat Rouge 540, which is a like sexy evening perfume, but it's like 200 pounds, whereas this is like 30 pounds, and very similar. You can rely on this to last. It's really strong, it's sexy, and some people love the bottle. I love the bottle, I love clouds. Some people don't like it, but there's no denying it's great for lasting and it is a good scent. So definitely worth checking out. Don't dismiss it because it's a celebrity perfume. It's actually really good. Cool, so those are my top picks for Valentine's Day. Let me know what would be on your list in the comments down below. Let me know which is your favorite from this range. What are you gonna be wearing for Valentine's? Um, let me know in the comments. I do read all your comments. But that is it, guys. So thank you so much for watching, as always. Link will be down below to where you can buy all these, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.